Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and I'm here at the Living Planet Symposium in Edinburgh. And today I'm with Shuba Satyendranath, who is the science leader of the Ocean Color CCI project. Now, of course, CCI stands for ESA's Climate Change Initiative. Now, Shuba, can you begin by telling me a bit about your work, your research? What exactly do you do, and how do you use satellite data? I've been working for maybe over 30 years now on the use of uh, ocean color satellites to study phytoplankton, the microscopic organisms in the sea, and uh, their distribution and their uh, contribution to photosynthesis at the global scale. Okay. And what sort of results have you seen over the years? Well, we have learned, for example, that phytoplankton contribute as much to the global carbon cycle as terrestrial plants. We have learned that uh, phytoplankton respond very rapidly and in a broad um, sense, both in concentration and in their composition to climate variability. And uh, we are interested to see uh, how they might respond to climate change and what kinds of feedbacks are introduced by phytoplankton in the Earth system dynamics. And how has the Climate Change Initiative benefited your work? In uh, several ways, I would say. First of all, it has uh, brought the community together to study how we might best use the satellite data on ocean color for addressing climate-related problems. And that has been an exciting time working together with uh, a wonderful team and with the broader community through user consultations and everything. Uh, but in addition to that, uh, one of the advantages of the CCI project is that it brings together scientists interested not only in ocean color but also in many other essential climate variables. So we have the opportunity to interact at a multi uh, ECV level, ECV for essential climate variables, to see now we are uh, in a position to see how the different climate variables interact with each other and influence each other and the whole dynamics of it. And in addition to that, there is a group of modelers who are also involved in the project. So it brings the observing community and the modeling community together and it makes for great possibilities. Absolutely, definitely an international effort. Absolutely. Now my other question to you is that, um, of course, you're looking at uh, the long term, long term data, and of course this data comes from different satellites, different types of sensors. Is this a challenge, is there a challenge when it comes to harmonizing this data to look at the whole long term changes in our climate? Yes, definitely. And that's been one of the uh, aspects of the problems that we have been dealing with. So as you mentioned, if you want to look at climate change or even climate variability, uh, the longer we can make the time series data, the better. But on the other hand, each satellite sensor has a finite lifespan. So we need to stitch together data from multiple sensors to make the time series. And in the case of the ocean color community, the challenge is uh, augmented, if I may put it that way, by the fact that every sensor that has been launched for observing ocean color from space has been different from each other. So we have quite a task in uh, harmonizing them to make sure that uh, we don't introduce any artifacts or artificial trends when we bring the different data sets together. Well, Shuba, thank you so much for taking your time to speak with us today. And for all the latest on the Living Planet Symposium, just go to www.isa.int.